Welcome to the magnificent city of Montreal, where 12 of poker's most exciting players have begun their quest for glory, here at the Party Poker Premier League Season 7. This is not normal poker, this is like fun. How sick are you in the head? <laughs> I love the banter so much. Punishing poker gods for this call. I'm 100%. Wow, you're so sick. Makes me so mad. Round two? Let's go. That's so tilting. Wow. It's like unreal. Sick. Wow. You say I can't win flip? So insane. That's pretty unlucky, mate. I knew I couldn't get this limp through. Yes, I won one versus Phil. Are you kidding me? No, my mind's just absolutely blown. Very strange, Vanessa. Very strange. I always level myself against you. Oh, I play so bad. Don't do this. No one, don't do this, man. Shack attack. Oh, that was a blow up. This is like ridiculous. You brought the monkey out of me because you're such a monkey. Get you a beer if you fall. Ooh, I call. That's not a good flop. God, this place loves me. Mercy done, Jeff. Mercy done. And that's really next level collusion right there. Is this nice idol? Now I can maybe fold. I think I should not be nice to you. This is a big one. Boom! I am in Barney Rubble. Trouble. Oh, that's good. I love it. The money flows free in Montreal. Premier League stuff is sick, bro. Made for TV. Just made for TV. There is no tournament like the Premier League. A place at the final table awaits the top four from the league stage, while the next four lock horns heads up for the final two spots at the six-handed table. While the players take a break, here's Jesse May with a reminder of the action so far in Heat 4. The opening level saw players donating their chips to Esfandiari. Come I lost that putt. This could be the payoff wizard right here. He pulled away as a big chip leader. You're so hopeless, it's amazing. Selps built up her stack. I hadn't decided about that river yet. Lock seemed to unravel. Coming in hot, kid. But Luck saved him when he hit this straight against Seaver's aces. No one. Here's how the chips are looking, and it's Antonio Esfandiari with 666,000. Selps having a great start, too. Then there's a big gap to the rest of the field, and then there's Seaver, battered and bruised, but not out. Most of his chips going the way of Phil Locke. So it was a different Phil that we saw coming into the beginning of this heat, and then all of a sudden, the goggles go on, and something happens, something changes. What is that? Well, we always have Visual, acoustic, mm -hmm. temperature, very homeostatically. There's some interesting things I have to attend to. The trigger point, sensitive, dependent, leaks, ambient ear. You see new truths. It's like the triple point of water. I have temperature leaks. <laughs> the bottom line is this, reptilian awareness. I have to raise my temperature by four degrees. You know, you're like, with total insular power. Bring it on, let's go, I got the shields. I think Phil is in the matrix. This is what we're saying. Reminder of the league standings at the halfway stage. Jeff Gross watching this one from the commentary box, looking nailed on for making the top eight minimum. Mizzy and Coleman could find themselves outperformed and overtaken by the likes of Jungleman, Seaver, and Duhamel. There could be a real switcheroo of places between those players in the top eight. Selbst, Esfandiari, and Locke at the bottom are in action. If they don't score big in this heat, their dreams of lifting the Premier League trophy could be over. Then it becomes a bad question. Lines going up now, three and six thousand. And uh, Brian, uh, players just taking a break. Vanessa Self spent the entirety of this break looking at the point standings and then looking at the chips on the table trying to find dynamics she could take advantage of. What will she have seen uh, as a dynamic for her to be taking advantage of right now? Does anything jump out at you? What conclusions yeah, well, will she have drawn? I mean, so Vanessa's got chips now. 
Nope. She's more than willing to, you know, try to get really get a good result in this and get some points and move up and kind of secure a heads-up spot. So she's kind of kind of look at who she can do that with. And, uh, I mean, she's in a pretty good spot. Like, Scott Seaver's pretty handcuffed right now because he's, he's only got 11 points. And so, uh, I mean, he's somebody that doesn't really want to go out with a with zero right now. Yeah, this, I mean, this heat is just, it's the dead middle. It's really, like, after this heat, everything's going to be pretty clear what's going on. So it'll be interesting to see if it, if it flattens out or if people separate. And that really depends on how Mizzy and Coleman finish and how Phil and, and uh, Vanessa finish. I mean, depending on if, if they go one, you know, one, two, three, the, the bottom stack, the bottom point leaders or the, the top two. So it's either going to flatten out or be wide open here. The Miz has raised this in. Everyone will kind of give him a berth. This is too many colors. Okay. To do. <laughs> Maybe not. Right Absolutely not. Not, not even uh, close. This is a this is a really interesting film. three bet by Esfandiari. I mean, no does it back. make There's sense? No is yeah. this the guy who wants <laughs> to pick on? It's not really a great spot for Mizzy to four bet. He's, no Mizzy's kind of at this stack depth right now where, you know, he's kind of handcuffing Mizzy with, with the stack size. So if Mizzy misses, Antonio's going to win. But points-wise, Mizzy is not really handcuffed. Wow, what a I mean, beautiful just the flop. joint for Antonio, basically. I mean, super safe. Yeah, but see, Antonio's not one of the people that, at this point, with his stack size now, it's not like he's under a lot of pressure with his points. So Antonio's really just doing this, like, just yeah, to win chips. Win this is just, right now, he's thinking, and win chips. All in. Whoa! He said all in. <laughs> wow. See, so, you know, so Antonio's just playing power uh, poker now. It just. Yeah. Antonio's. Antonio is one of the most is one of the most uh, quick guys that I've met. Just like mentally, mental acuity, like picking up on things. I mean, I think he's been. He's not one to like study the chart and, and look at the numbers, but I mean, you know, he he lost listens. this bet. Yeah. He kind of figured yeah. out like, wow, you know, you can put a lot of pressure on people, get people to fold bigger hands because of the points. Yeah. And I expect with him having a lot of chips that he he's just gonna apply that. I mean, you, he he doesn't necessarily study the charts, but I'll tell you what, he is very aware though. I mean, he knows yeah. exactly what people have. Like Vanessa, you see, like her break was studying every little thing, but like he yeah. he's right. in the middle. Like he definitely oh, knows yeah. what's going on. I mean, on. he won't study, but he'll he'll make sure that Scott well, Seaver tells him the answer. Sure. <laughs> yeah, he'll he's, act yeah, he's always he's always learning. Yeah. He's always doing he's always <laughs> doing something. <laughs> Now, Phil Locke is not scared to stick all these chips in with the Ace King right no. now. He is Phil Locke suited. is ready. Phil right. is fist pump getting this in, yeah. and he's going to, Vanessa's going to have three bet, and he's going to four bet this. And she kind of needs to know that because. So, yeah, so Vanessa looks at Phil right now as a person who has been playing a lot of hands and someone that she can pick on. Yeah, she's three betting for so, sure. I don't think this is smart because, I mean, he actually, he might not need a hand as strong as Ace King to shove it in here because he, he gambling is not terrible for Phil right now with three points. Nobody believes Phil. Vanessa's value three betting. Okay, so that the, the ace ten Mizzy offsuit. Mizzy might ship it. And Mizzy wants to four bet because she's like Vanessa probably doesn't have that great hand. It's just and Phil it's amazing is just not how even in the pot. Right? Little credi in the credibility pot. Phil has, and Phil actually has the best hand. Well, Phil's gonna. How much does Phil have? Two seventy. Yeah, he Phil's is. Phil's gonna bomb it. I want to hit the jungle man weighted aesthetic. Of the number that is optimal in this situation. I love Phil. I mean, look With at this guy. Who else Ross in the Jeff world puts their chips and like the this? Holy revered Antonio Espandari, the magician. I want a weighted average. In all arbitrations, I want Scott Siever to be the one that arbitrates. Seems fair. Because he will get the answer these correctly. Guys, he's just in his own planet. I mean, this guy's amazing. If you out Jedi mind tricked me, and you somehow surf the wall and it's a pure and balanced thing. If you're out surfing me, you're out surfing me. I can just get back on the board and play one other hand of poker. Go to the beach every day. He's in, right? This is going in. To Vanessa. It's a three bet. Honestly, the small blind three bets is strong. I, I just think wonder it looks. if there's... Like, it's not like she's on the button. I like my hand, Vanessa. And I'm going to express that mathematically through this moment by raising this amount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's raising to a deuce. That's what he's doing. He's raising. And, and that's an interesting play, Brian, because. As long as he never folds. 
<laughs> oh wow, Phil, for once in his life, is raising to induce and not just bombing it. Yeah. Unbelievable, actually. I love his sizing. I love this. Phil, you are, you're doing it, man. And you got the right player who could bomb it, even though she just doesn't have the right no, it's, it's interesting. Right? If Vanessa had like 20 points, she may bomb it, but this is like... For the record, I hear your guys' speech. Never in my life have I ever no, I been, that. gone down I'm that vein. Yeah. If I pull it back, she uh, folded, right? I've yeah, she folded, like which is what, I mean, I... Yeah, she's not, yeah, she's, she's never calling, calling. she's folding. No, she's never calling, it's folded yeah. jamming. Yeah. Folding seemed like the Join prudent eight. play. Join eight. Uh, I might have to show you. Phil Locke oh, playing the game right now. Phil yeah. Locke leaving everybody curious. Phil Locke made his Premier League debut in season four and stormed the heats, winning three on the spin. <laughs> but crashed in the final. Don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I'm the worst. In season five, Locke made the final table once again and finished up with third place. <laughs> this is a standard fold. Phil has lost his mind. I wanna go home, I wanna go home, I wanna go home. Because yeah. <laughs> I know I can rub you Season six, Locke was drawn in the same group as long-term partner Jennifer Tilly. No more cuddling for you, mister. Yeah. And didn't make the final table. Jennifer can still get you. We're saying fold, 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 fold. This season, he's ready and raring. I'm good, I'm re good to go. Out of the gate, let's go. Premier League, bring it on. Welcome back to a packed Playground Poker Club here in Montreal where Heat 4 of the Premier League is picking up pace and the action is living up to expectations. Let's head back to your commentators. Raising the stakes. Everyone's right now this Meat Heat is middling a lot of things. I mean Coleman and, and Mizzy are kind of going to drop down. If, if it ended now they'd be dropping back down to the middle. Seaver have a bad result, kind of stay in the middle, slip down a bit. I mean Selps would shoot up, Antonio's going to shoot up. Phil's shooting up a little bit. You know, I mean, this is very middling heat right now. Yeah, actually, very good for you, Jeff. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. I, I actually think... And not what, not what I wanted. Mizzy's probably yeah. the guy on the table who can most benefit from no, just getting much. a sixth here. Three right, points for him. He'll have 24 through three. I mean, I I think, you know, that'd be job yeah. done. No, the bagel I, I here, maybe not. But three points, he's there. I want to yeah, I think I right now, Mizzy's... I mean, Mizzy's thinking, uh, just slide, slide my way up a few spots. And, and see what happens after I lock up three points. You know, I, I agree with that. That's why he's So this is uh, Selps with the early open and Antonio with the defense. So yeah, Antonio might lead this turn here. He has jack high, almost definitely the worst hand. He's hoping to get, you know, king or ace out of fold. He has a lot of outs if he gets called, so this is pretty standard play. If I Vanessa here, you're kind of in a tough spot. I mean, you almost like having ace nine a little bit more than like ace king. Because you got a gutter here, but uh, unfortunately against Antonio's exact hand, it's worse because a seven is a terrible card for her. So it, it, wow. I mean, it could actually yes. It's I mean, how many chips will she lose if the seven yeah. ball pops? It depends on how Antonio plays it, but. Wow, so Vanessa has the best hand. She's actually probably going to win this pot most of the time. I mean, even like Jack Queen misses, there's hands that miss. I don't know. So Antonio, there's a very good chance that he bluffs this river. Because I mean, well, because he just can't win if he doesn't. I mean, it's one of those ones. He doesn't love it. He's a little worried he's going to get called, but you almost feel obligated to bluff when you have calling. one of these hands. I think she's going to call. There's a bunch of hands she beats, but. Wow, she let it go. So Antonio's intuition is good. I mean, this is he why he's the her. kid. He leveled her. Yeah. So he was repping. I mean, he wanted his bet to be consistent with like a mid pair that's trying to get value out of like ace high or something, and, and uh, it worked. This man levels wizards for a living. <laughs> he is. Antonio it's, is strong. He is strong. I kind of thought she was going to call. I thought she was going to call out a bet call. I mean, it's I'm one of those yeah, things where it's calling. exploitable when you fold, isn't it? Like, what were you saying? You got to, you weave the math. You weave the math. <laughs> yeah, you weave the math in there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh. do I will fold in the king 10? Discipline. Oh, he would have ran into a problem because Antonio has sixes and a ton of chips. C5 raised 14,000. Oh. So Antonio with a solid hand. Ooh, Vanessa's button. This she is, looks interested. She is interested, and she will be likely I think playing. she'll just call here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we just said, you know, in position, she's probably going to call. She's probably going to get three betting a lot, trying to play oh. huge pots here against the one guy that can really cripple her. Don't do it, the Miz. He's not. He's Miz has got. He knows. He's going for points right now. The Miz is, is content. And Jungle Man, call. happy to get a good price. Oh yeah, this is a very good spot for Jungle. <laughs> By the way, Vanessa with the Ace three off, probably three bets or folds, but the Ace three suited. Yeah, she's gonna. She's gonna take Soon a flop, flop happily. Oh, oh wow, not, not the worst flop. Wow. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so Vanessa loves everything. that flop, got but Ant Antonio is probably going to bet. I mean, he likes C betting. He's got yeah, he probably sixes with two hand. five. He thinks he has the best hand a lot. So I, I think he's Antonio's a little curious what Vanessa's flatting with. You know what? If I'm Vanessa here, I actually like kind of raising. I'm I'm almost willing to just go to war here and just all in and just play for the this this heat with this hand right now. I I just think I a raise she's... picks up the pot often enough. I mean, yeah. there's 80k out there, and you know what? If you get unlucky and Antonio happens to have a big hand, I think she's gonna make it 65 there. or flat. But I think she might opt to raise. Yeah. I mean, I I think Antonio's gonna let this go. I mean, he could put 67, in a raise to like 16, 140 000. here and test her out. I mean, she happens to have like. Why none would of the she flop. be? Why would she be having nothing here? Jungleman was behind her. I mean, what could she? Could yeah, she just have airballed this? I, I it's it's possible, and I don't hate it. I actually don't. I, th I don't think Antonio is going to put her on queens, kings, or aces because that reason that he the jungleman would call too. I don't think she's going to want to go three way. So she could be having like the eights or the nines here, which is slightly vulnerable type of thing. Or wow, we're going to get wow. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think she raises eights or nines. I mean, she's kind of got repping like a set of deuces or fives, or uh, or like a big, big flush draw or something like that. Oh, almost the gin card for her. But yeah, the not. four. The, the four would have been the, the best super card gin. in the deck. Four of hearts, four of spades. Good card for Antonio, so, yeah. there too. We're Antonio might, we're probably... might get a little sticky with that one if she decides mm -hmm. to bet again. But you know what? I think there's a good chance on that card, Selps is going to... I she think does she not... might take a free one here. I think she's a little worried if she bets and Antonio she's decides to put her all in and she can't really call. So, yeah, she checks it back. I think that's the yeah. right play. Wow, Antonio! He just, so, get, he just wins. Antonio just, just he just does it. wins. He's got the right instincts. He He's just gonna win. She may check fast. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna be sick about this. Yeah, she does yeah. not like his. You know, call. I, I, I don't hate Antonio's call. I mean, here's the thing, Aunt Vanessa's, it's tough, and not much that can work out for him. But thing is, her range is really polarized there to being yeah. like set of deuces, fives, or like big flush draws. Right. So when no diamond comes, I mean, Antonio's hand's good a lot. The board and ran the, out amazing, too. And for, yeah, yeah, it's a board. So super safe board for him. S. Fandiari is powering through this table. He's extended his lead to well over 800,000, and the others can only look up at his mountain of chips and wonder how they'll climb Everest. Antonio Esfandiari probably has the most confidence of anyone in Premier League. Coming off the one drop victory and just the year he's had, he's just playing great and he knows it and very dangerous. He's a smart guy, he's hungry. But <laughs> I love dropping him too. Wow, you're so sick. He's fearless and aggressive and, and takes it to everybody, friends and enemies. Antonio's a great player. He loves to take his spot. Oh, one time can I get there? He really likes to mix it up. He likes to add a lot of random aggression, and I think when you're playing a game with Antonio, uh, it definitely drives the action a little bit. Oh, he plays so bad. Antonio's a fish. Um, he's absolutely dead money, stands no chance to win this thing. I'm kidding. Uh, he's, he's tough. Um, Antonio's the man. Are you kidding me? I'm sure he's dying to win a Premier League. He's gonna be ready to go for it. Esfandiari is the only player to have a game in hand at this stage of the Premier League, and he's on course to really use that to his advantage. A win here, and he'll have a major jump up the table and be back in contention for a top four place. The pressure is on for Selbst and Locke. They need points in this match to get themselves out of the doldrums. Fold, fold. 
Vanessa deciding to really open it up. Yes, this is opinionated, and Jungleman gave her gave her the king queen slide. Jungleman so. has been playing very tight. I mean, and, and I think every time he's folded it, for what it's worth, it's been Lock, the best hand. And now Locke's thinking right? about the ace nine. He's folding right. I hope he doesn't call. He's gonna fold or raise, and I think fold is his answer. Calling is just like. Well, I mean, how zoned you know, in is he on the dynamics oh. right now? He's saying, I have three points. Help me. He's just like, please, people, get start getting knocked out. <laughs> he wants to yeah. see Seaver and uh, Duomo go, and then I think okay. he'll see Duomo. Okay. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, this is a big hand. <laughs> yeah. 17,000 call. Something interesting could so happen here. There's it's the Coleman. Team. We've gotten to level Coleman, and now <laughs> he's just going to play poker. <laughs> he waited around for this level. And wow, this uh, is a total nothing for Vanessa, and quite a good flop for Coleman with top pair. So, I mean, I expect Vanessa to fire a bet here. Yeah, she's oh, repping up. She's under the gun. She's she's going to bet. But it will not work. Coleman is she's just She's just gonna, getting called. Yeah. Not check raise. That just call. 19,000. So many good turns, like the heart, the, the any six, uh, eight, call? six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, she's yeah, calling, hoping for low cards. Doesn't put her on the jack three, that's for sure. Coleman's timing there a little fast. I, I'd actually put Coleman on about the hand he had based on the way. Hello. One Check. of the few action cards on the deck. Yeah, very action card. Very good chance she barrels this. And, uh, I mean, Coleman now call in, call, will call again with top pair in a gutter. She's going to do it. That is 33,000. She's made this big enough where Coleman... I mean, it's it's small enough. He's Coleman's going to feel he's calling. great calling this. Okay. But I mean, he 33k. <laughs> he's not. This isn't an act. Like if she were to pick up, I mean, he literally is like kind of uncomfortable. He looks like he has a 910 or something like that. Wow, an ace. This, now this is a Check. card Vanessa could. Uh, and see, think this about is where this through. is where I don't. Coleman's timing, right? He's like yeah. he snap checks. It's like I have a nine. Please don't bet. Like if he takes what, like does if he were to do a fill lock and yeah. tank and like oh I don't and then like whatever. But yeah. now it's like Vanessa's gonna feel obligated to rep this, I think. Vanessa is Maybe. not a jack high check what back is under the, the gun razor. What is the bet size that's gonna give she's, her the most problems? She's betting like a, she's betting like ninety some thousand. Yeah, like she, if she bluffs she'll bet about ninety or hundred K, but it's a tough it's kind of a tough spot because this is one of those spots where Coleman has sort of faced up his hand and he knows it and Vanessa knows it. So it almost becomes in a game of chicken because it's like, well, I mean it's pretty obvious you got like a nine or something like that. And wow, this is wild. You know what? You know, Coleman, Coleman knows that she knows that though. So it's definitely yeah. a spot where he thinks she might bluff. Well, so in that case, she can kind of can't she kind of polarize things by even making it bigger? It's harder for her to bluff yeah. Coleman. Like merge her. You know what they say? Oh man, yeah, it's harder for her to bluff him though because he has so many points. Yeah, he I mean, has he's, twenty points. This is a this is he's a hard. not gonna fold because of points. That's for sure. Oh, and he knows the answer. Yeah, he's he had it figured out. He's calling. Yeah, it looks like he is. And call. You got it. Yeah. Nice call. That, that's that's. Oh, something. big sigh from Vanessa, yeah, and this played. will change things. Step forward, Coleman. Vanessa now goes to zone two, and, and it was it a up. jack wow. three this suited under the huge gun. Huge pot for me. Yeah, yeah, that was huge. That yeah. was, yeah. I, I was rooting for it. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I needed. I need. I mean, Vanessa like winning or getting second in this would have been, would have been a lot of pressure because she's. Uh, I mean, not to say it can't happen. No, no, no. But, but she. Yeah. I mean, just she's tied with me right now. She's played two heats. She's got six points. So. Bet is all in. Oh. <laughs> well, see Just her. what well, the doctor ordered. Seaver with the very, oh. very found, disappointed. Found kings. Putting kings. Oh, wow. This is how they do it. This Seaver's just the guy that does it. You know, he's got he's de drawing dead. Yo, let's not speak too fast. I mean, he is covering the suits, but don't speak I mean, ill of the dead. You know what I'm saying? What a spot, though. Antonio is um is gonna call this. Yep. To less I mean, than ten he has big a lines. ton of chips. The chips, and these are these are the kind yeah. of things that are oh, unavoidable, 74. and it's like awkward. And all of a sudden, Antonio doesn't even want these spots. He likes to pick up the little pots, no problem. Darn. Have the premium selps in a tough Darn. spot. Is it? She could. She. Wow, this is awkward. Awkward spot. Very awkward. Like, yeah. You can't really flat, but like raising doesn't seem right either. She doesn't want to give Seaver the protection either. Well, so, I mean, like, Antonio said he has a pretty good hand, so. Ace Queen suited, she may just say, I can't take this pain anymore of getting like the worst spots ever, but like I just think she's just gonna she's just gonna muck it. There's really nothing. So the else idea she can is do. there's no really free chips for her to win by shoving. 
Because you still That's have to outrun true. Scott. That's okay. not true. Yeah, she does. He has to outrun Scott, but Antonio's chips would be in there dead if he folds. Right. And the problem so is, so it's a, it's a it's a reasonable play in my opinion. Fold. I didn't like my fold. call. Your range is too strong. Did not like my call. That's why I folded. Your range is too strong. I knew I should have just folded. He's never moving in with less. He's never that's moving not in with less. That's nine true? blinds. I mean, he is, but like, I he's wonder. Never, that's interesting. That's not true. That's but. interesting thought. Vanessa seemed to think the same thing. Oh, I played bad. Wow. Antonio, would have, if, Antonio an ace, if an ace comes, the whole table would be a little sick just Antonio, because you need your lung to they stay could here. bust Seaver, which oh, would be so bad. Antonio's just going to moan out. this. Look at Seaver. How good is he at moaning Look at Seaver moping around, and now he's the Seaver we all know and love. He's happy, he likes his spy. He's got Look at that. 176,000 is like a million. Yeah, moan it in. He's going to moan it in. That went solemn. Yeah, he's a little less enthusiastic. He was kind of chirpy, and now he's like, all right, please just hold. Antonio upset about this, although I, I don't really see it. Oh, that's your coat, Johnny. Wow. Double bagel for Seaver. That is, that is, he is. And he has played among the best of all players in the Premier League. I mean, he just has. Play bad, get lucky. That was a really bad call. I mean, he just has. Like, I mean, he has just played super. Play great, run bad, and like Scott Seaver, the double bagel. Is he out of the Premier League? Not no, yet. No, no, not, not at all. Not yet. He had a not big out. second, and uh, he could probably, you know, the he, he might. The second, you know, second I, I, think, I think top three might get him into the playoffs, personally. Seaver is going to have to watch from the sidelines now. He's back in action in the last heat. By then, he'll know exactly what he needs to do going to be tough now for Duhamel, seriously low in chips, and clinging on whilst Estevandiari runs them all over. We're back for more from the Playground Poker Club in Montreal after the break. Very strange, Vanessa, very strange. What? Huh? What did you say? You're watching the Party Poker Premier League where Scott Seaver has just left the table in 8th spot and the former champion is in serious trouble in the league. Time to get back to the table. To be a Antonio's is over the 900k mark, by the way. He has double second. Yeah, Antonio's starting to run away with this. Under the heading of, of who at the table was Seaver's elimination the best for, Duhamel, is he the biggest candidate? Uh, because now he can be a little bit swingy, slingy with his chips, and yeah, also I think he's going to be guaranteed Duhamel. to be ahead of Seaver oh. when this is over. Yeah, at least tied with oh. him. Yeah. I mean, if he goes out now, he's tied with Seaver. Jungleman going with the uh, min raise, even though he's super short, trying to look super strong. This is an interesting spot for uh, for Vanessa. Like this is one of those hands which it, I mean, Jungleman's been playing very tight. If I'm Vanessa here, I'm just folding. Right? Right? Yeah, it's, it sucks. It's suited. It's almost just too Jungle good. Jungleman has, still, I think, been the tightest person yeah. at the table so far. Here's the problem: the fold too. Like she's not calling Ace four clubs against a guy with 300k who could double her up. I mean, she's like calling to try to like get his hundred thousand. Like, yeah. and it's just wrong. I, I don't like it. I, so yeah, I am. I mean, also Jungle's been well. She's, she's gonna win this one. Flop. But uh, I mean, Jungle's been playing like kind of the tightest at this table. I mean, we've seen him muck a lot of hands. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, uh, and uh, I will say I liked it. It shows Jungleman's versatile, and he came in with a strategy, yeah. which is you can see as Vanessa defends the ace four, people think he's just super nuts. So like his strategy was to play super tight. He got un he got unlucky. He didn't have big hands. Yeah, he's got he pretty hands, unlucky. He, he would, would have, have more this chips. Worked a lot better, but he's just not had anything. Very strange, Vanessa. Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> thought your range was stronger than it was, I guess. I thought your range was strong too. Sorry, you said there was six hands left up. It was time? pretty strong. I couldn't think of this is like is this like kind of nerd what? poker pickups? Oh. Right here. I, think of I thought your range was strong, baby. <laughs> I thought your range was strong. <laughs> Let's see what's going on about yeah. Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, there was I some. Think, uh, I mean, he was, was he quoting back. a movie line there, you know, in that voice. Was that like from Young Frankenstein or something? I don't know. We, <laughs> don't, know, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're just happy to be here. Be able to see this. Very strange, <laughs> Vanessa. Very, Very strange. <laughs> 17,000. And Antonio, like we expected, just turning on the heat. 
By the way, this is kind oh, of what Mizzy should have done yesterday. Oh. Right. I mean, just opening. Oh. I mean, Mizzy was passing up some of these like Jack tens under the gun, but the truth is, in this spot, it's like. Why pass it up unless you run into big hands? All right, now this is this, a perfect this is spot. Good now, see, this spot is exactly where you should bomb. That was a, a good spot. spot. To Not bomb. even just because you can see the cards, but because Antonio's opening almost any two. He's no, yeah. but there was also extra money in the pot, right? Yeah. It was a raise yeah. and a call. I mean, Selps calling a position. Selps almost never has like oh. a true tier one hand. I mean, she could have a good hand, but I mean, Selps isn't going to call 200k with like nines. Also, those so. are the people he wants to take on. Like, yeah. he wants chips from them rather than the big stacks. I mean, yeah, that was a great hand to pile right there. Just stuff it in. And Antonio making a bet here, figuring they can't continue without a king. Raise. She's made a decision there about how to react to all possible things Antonio can do now. I mean, you, you're just in a really bad spot if you get re-raised. In Antonio's yeah. mind, he probably doesn't think she's raising King Jack or King Queen because he Never. wouldn't. Never. Nobody so like, would. Right. So it's almost interesting in that sense. But, like, this is a perfect spot. And Anto I think he's going to think that, like, really, like, this I, would I think to, he's going to raise. this go. Yeah, he I, should. He, the problem is that, and, and I think Antonio wants to make a move here, and he might. But the problem is that literally he has, like, nothing. Like, nothing. If he oh. even had, like, ace five, he ace might five. do it. Vanessa takes down another pot. Over half a million in chips now, and back into second place. Vanessa's a beast. I mean, she's one of those people that you just don't want to play pot with because you don't know what she has, and she's capable of anything, and she's always putting you to the test. You don't have much of a hand. Of course, she's completely unpredictable, so you have to be a little careful with Vanessa. Very smart, and she can adjust a lot of situations, so definitely got to bring your A game against her. Always level myself against you. If there was one word to describe Vanessa Selps, it would be fierce. Is this nice angle? She is just absolutely ruthless in poker. She just keeps coming at you and coming and coming. She's so much pressure and so confident in herself and never afraid to pull the trigger. She's one of the brightest people in the game and one of the poker players I admire most. How sick are you in the head? Vanessa Selps is a nut. <laughs> She's crazy. She just is... Uh absolute beast at the table. Many people call Vanessa Selps the best female poker player on the planet, and I think that's a huge disservice to her. She's just one of the best poker players on the planet, period. I think Phil's gonna win this heat. I hope so. That would be the best case scenario of all time. I want Phil first. You don't care there. what happens. You've got 25 points. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still fun to root. I got some, I mean, there is better outcomes than, than others. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say between Vanessa and Coleman. I, I feel like Vanessa's been a little off today so far in a, in a couple pots. I, I'm not sure confidence-wise if she's 100% there. Full. but Right, when she's when I, she's at her best, she kind of inspires fear full. when you're in a pot with her. And you, you're not scared of her right now, are you? <laughs> I fell like He just folded the king jack just... Just because well, there was so something there was an, there in his an open. He there knew was Queens open. was to his left. I mean, <laughs> there's an open under the gun. If hands are too good, he can't play them. It's a, the Phil Lock handicap he gives to the rest of the players. Look at Duomo. Wakes up with top of his range and giving a little treatment. <laughs> and he's got he's no got open. about four chips and he's gonna put them in. And now Vanessa, it, this is just annoying. It is because she's she gonna, fold, she's gonna right? have to call. And considering Phil folded a king, king so. and Daniel folded a king, oh wow, oh. pretty yeah, safe. I hope I hope I hope they both say they had a king, which they should never do. But like, she's already gonna be upset. Hmm. This is big for Duomo. He likes it, but like, he knows he loses this pot. He's he's in dire straits for the rest. Of That's a pretty big one. He's become a master of going down to the nubbins. And yeah, he just coming oh. back up. Duhom will just, uh, he's a sticky. He's a survivor. It feels like Missy, Mizzy too. He's gonna get it in good, probably, yeah. or in a flip, and then. Oh, a 10. There's still some of those out there. There's, there's available 10s. Will normal service resume? Oh, wow. Four across. That is not what Mizzy likes seeing, or Phil, or anyone really, but. Everybody's rooting for you. Do you <laughs> <want> <laughs> I was rooting for you, actually. Mom liked it, Mrs. Duhamel. Yeah, she's like, that's how I would have played those. <laughs> those cards. All right. That's all right. 79. Jonathan Duhamel, 2010 World Series of Poker Main Event Champion. 
winning the event just changed everything. Uh, it changed my poker career, changed the way I was living. And now I just started traveling all around the world, playing all those big tournaments, and compete against uh, the best in the world. Well, it's fun to be out there and play against you know the best of the best. Also now we're in Montreal, so just a, another motivation for me to go out there and try to win it. It's definitely a very tough lineup over there. A lot of very good, talented players. So uh, we're all going to bring our A game. and going to need a little bit of luck, and uh, hopefully I'm going to see me on the final table. Buckle up, baby, because we're going to war. In your eye, David. You see that player who you think you can angle me? just got so pwned. It's a joke. I want the limo. I'm ready to go. I don't want to hang out with it. I wish I went to bed earlier. I wish I was richer and younger. Turn an ace to end this race, yo. None of you here have any heart. Believe me, I've been watching you guys. It's embarrassing. I'm not going to listen to Tony anyway. Clearly, has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Oh, God. Come on. Eat Don't some of that. that. The world doesn't understand it. All they see is all the bracelets. That's all they see. Every tournament should be like this. It's just like actual cheating at this point. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah. It must be good. It's good. It's good. And that's what I'm talking about. I waited. I trapped him. I checked behind. I three bet. I did everything right. And if it's a jack or a ten, someone's something's game broken. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> Am I getting out of line? Right. Give me a warning. This is the best show in poker. Great memories and some of poker's biggest names taking part in the Premier League over the years. And now, Season 7 is here at the Playground Club in Montreal. It's poker's most winningest player, Antonio Esfandiari. Well out in front in this heat, he's sitting with nearly a million. Nice open Antonio, found two cards pretty connected, going to play it. He is teaching Sorrel Mizzy how to play the big stack right yeah. now, isn't he? I mean, and to be fair, I mean, Antonio's had not nearly as many big, big hands as Mizzy. I mean, we haven't seen him flapping full houses. I mean, he's got not winning a pot with a pair of sixes and just opening and taking more pots. I mean, he's kind of doing it, doing it the hard way, so to speak. And John Holman's wondering, why did I get all dressed up? That was a perfect spot to make a loose defense. Like, you know, based on all the other defenses he's made. Who, Phil? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. if he's going to make all those other defenses, that was Check. not a bad loose defense. I mean, against Antonio and maybe, I'm, am I thinking about it wrong? Check. Yeah. Wow, and here Vanessa, who flats with the 8-9 suited, looking for many flops other than this, even though she catches a pair, decides to check back, and now loses the lead in the hand. 21,000. She just might pitch this. You think she comes along or just gets rid of it? It's a tough spot. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't oh. hate her call. I mean, by the same token that Antonio has queen-10, he could easily have jack-9, queen-jack, all those like, any gutter team. hands, you know? Yeah. So and, and she looks like she could still have an ace here as well to him, right? She, it looks like she could have an ace. That's kind of the top of her range check. there. I mean, this will go check, check. She'll check be happy check. to check Fast this check, back. Yeah. She's going to be a little frustrated by that, but... She's gotten bad runouts. It For is sure. true she's, she's gotten bad runouts. Yeah, she's showing she's willing to play pots, and she's uh, she's still... She's at 400, but, like, she was at 600, and, I mean, she knows... Uh, those pots are important right there. They add up. I, I do feel, though, that she's letting herself down a little bit by letting all the other players know how frustrated she is. Yeah. I mean, it's there's no way it's a positive thing to let everyone else at the table know that she's frustrated. Is there? I mean... No. I mean, if you see that somebody's frustrated and you're at the poker table, I mean, you feel generally feel kind of good about that. And sometimes it can give you a little Online. insight into things they might do or be more likely to do. But, uh, you know, I... I I haven't played enough with Vanessa to know if With her being frustrated, really. I, I know by reputation she can oftentimes kind of show frustration in a number of th spots. I mean, I've seen it before, so. Yeah. But that doesn't mean necessarily that she lets it affect her play it a lot. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe she does. If, if she does, then definitely she needs to work on it. So Dan Coleman under the gun here, king-queen suited, and he's actually having a bit of a think about it. Is there something to think about here? C6 raise, 24,000. Okay, he still goes with the min raise. Fold, fold. Fold. I mean, I, I think he's got to open this hand. Fold. You know, you've got to you've yeah, pick up chips here. now and then, and this hand is strong enough. 
I know Dan Coleman's general strategy right now is going to be to kind of just coast and try to get a high spot and uh, keep on, you know, putting, accumulating points to make the final table, not just the heads up. So well, this is probably what he was thinking about because this is what Mizzy minutes. wasn't doing. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's, that's exactly, he, it's about when you raise the chip leader's big blind and the big smile is because and this is what this is what Mizzy doesn't do, which S. Fandiari does. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Six, three, three, Whoa! Only. Did not see this coming. So Dan, I mean, he thought about it. Yeah. And he had a plan for this, and now he's going to execute it. Mr. Coleman. You're not going to waste our time, are you? You have a real decision here. Mr. Coleman. I really don't care. You really don't care? I don't care. He has to send the message to Antonio now. Because if he didn't, then Antonio is going to do it every well, I time, right? Show, but I just don't want you, you know, I just want to take chips from you. That's, that's a beautiful play by Dan Coleman, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if Antonio even calls with Ace-King there. I guess he has, I mean, he has so much. Like, no, he has I, I think Antonio probably calls with Ace-King, but, I mean, you know, Jack plus Ace-King. The thing is, just Antonio doesn't have those hands that often. At Ace-King suited? Yeah. How much you want to bet at Ace-King suited? Yeah. No, I need, I need trains I'll for I'll bet you 2,000. Antonio, you want to bet? I need no, trains for this. Okay, I was up. Antonio did offer 2,000, I think, not just to subs, but to anybody. It but felt I think like he like, was... He thinks the chances that I'll take the bet on an yeah, yeah, implied yeah. free roll is less than the, like, yeah. the possibility. Like, right, so it's an insurance. He's, he's allowed to leave that insurance, yeah. Like, he thinks the value of us thinking about Ace Queen is higher than the chance I'll take the bet with him. Yep, he's done all the math. It's a magician. He's working hard, you know? Exactly. He solved the riddle already. Exactly. Fold. There you go. John Seat one, all in. Oh, I thought he folded. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, what is he waiting for at this point? Hmm. Wow. Wow, Phil's got... <laughs> Phil has a hand. He would have been opening, maybe even just shoving if it had folded to him. But now, I... I mean, Phil would love to bust Jungle Man. I mean, right. love to see Jungle Man go out. Doesn't want to see Jungle Man basically see, almost double up by Should've getting wow. this through. Wow, I am a little surprised oh, with people behind him. And I, I like this play by Phil. Yeah. I like it too. Play. I like it too. But Jungle Man has so few chips. It's a good chance for him to to gamble to try to not only bust Jungle Man but but win the blinds and annies and uh, and also he knows if he loses he still has like 120. There's a yeah. ton of dead money in there. The annies, the big blind, small blind. No one's gonna call it out. Even if the ace like ace queen will probably fold. And Phil's got to accumulate chips. I mean, he can't shoot for like a fifth or fifth or sixth. <laughs> Jungle man! Jungle man! He can't. He doesn't understand. He doesn't. He's. Oh, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I gotta try and get a hand. <laughs> like the two beautiful minds at the table. Oh, it's a good flop for the jungle. <laughs> well, jungle is not feeling it. Let's see what the deck thinks. Well, the deck is pretty friendly. The, the, the all-ins jungle has oh, been very, very friendly. Yeah. It's got really the six has. out here. Bluffing on the river, not so friendly for jungle. Oh! oh well, bye -bye there's jungle. A river. jungle is not <laughs> a happy camper. Taxi <laughs> for the jungle! <laughs> there will be no exit from the jungle. <laughs> well, well he has not had a good day on the felt, and guys, it'll be really interesting to see what his tactics are in heat number five. I think he's going to be under serious pressure. I need so much. I need other people to lose. I need to win. I need really to just go, you know. Great news for Sorel Mizzy and Jonathan Duhamel, both, obviously. Wow, so uh, two of the the middling points out the first in Scott and Jungle Man. This is going to create separation at the top as uh, Dan and Sorel are going to leap up closer to Jeff and, you know, a little bunching at the bottom as some of these low points are going to jump up to the middle. So this is going to be a very, very interesting outcome. And Brian, it's quite interesting for you as well because you're going to be playing against the Jungleman with a game in hand in uh, heat number five. And if you post a, a score well above him, you know, you're going to you're going to be in great shape, actually, to, to, to leapfrog him in a sense. Well, I mean, I do have a chance. If, if Jungleman goes out one of the first two spots in the next heat and I post a good score but he, as of right now he has 17 oh. points and I have six so oh wow and Coleman who's shown wow Coleman that he's not scared to show the light. button he will okay, not he's be on the button here. with aces what a good spot wow let's see six, if six, any of the blinds have anything so he opens up to uh what is that 24 
So this wow, is pretty much so the end of Vanessa's Premier League. Premier League. Oh my god, how many blinds does she have? This might just be it's unavoidable. Over 400, she still has. You know what? She has like 35 blinds. She could decide just to call here, and I actually wouldn't hate it. Oh, oops. Oh, did she go all in? Oh man. Oh, she's going to feel so sick. Wow. And it's interesting, Brian. I mean, Have you said that. Game? Was that yeah. hand bait? It, Look at Coleman. He can't, he can't help well, strategically, because the thing is that, like, this is kind of one of the people that could bust that her. That can bust her. And I don't know. I mean, Mizzy's about to go out, and Locke and Duham will have half as many chips as her. I mean, arguably, I guess I could flat, but. No. It's just super bad luck. It's really hard. This is an amazing result. The best because, result for you, worst for me. I mean, Selps was like in on pace for a great showing, and she's about to get only three points. This, this is this is incredible, yep, and, I, and obviously not just you. Yeah. Phil Locke has had the most yeah. incredible forehands of his poker career, and Vanessa, what wow. she has she got nine now in the nine, in the clubhouse? But, but three done, three down. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, the truth is that when she shoves there, she is really only getting called by a few hands. So, I mean, her fold equity is huge. Right. But, um... He you had know. one of them. That spells disaster for Vanessa Selps. Just three points in this one. She'll stay in the elimination zone, and even if she wins her last match, the best she can hope for is to make the heads up. Phil Locke and Duhamel, meantime, are rubbing their hands together in glee. They really need to score big in this one. Next time at the Playground Poker Club, Heat 4 continues and the pressure for points mounts here at the Party Poker Premier League. Don't do this. No one, don't do this, man. It's no luck. I can't help myself, you know? The problem is I might be playing dirty. Are you kidding me? I was about to win. I'm going to lose. Wow, you're so sick. I mean, wow.